What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue, and I was on the phone with my man Aaron over at Smoking and Grilling with AB, and he kind of tossed out a little bit of a challenge, I think it was. It was like a football themed chicken wing extravaganza. Now listen, my football team is the Oakland Raiders, so I'm not too happy about anything football right now, but what I will do is come to you with some chicken wings that you can maybe think about for your Super Bowl party. What I want you to do is run over and take a look at what he's bringing and then come back to my channel and tell me how much better my wings are than his. I'm just joking. Aaron's my boy. I'm going to leave a link to his channel and iCard above and description below. Run by there and show him some love if you're not already subscribed to him. Now as far as my chicken wings go, I'm going to be pretty basic as far as the cook on them. We're not going to be uh, coating them with any breadcrumbs or cornstarch or flour or anything like that. We're going to go pretty naked as far as the uh, cook on them goes. What I have here is I have a pack of chicken wings and I'm going to remove the wing tips and separate the uh, drums from the flats. And I'm going to season them with just a neutral seasoning. There's a seasoning called It's Incredible and I think it's going to work well with all the flavors that I'm going to be bringing to the party. Now I'm sure that Aaron's probably going out to the store and buying a big old bag of chicken wings so I know at least the quality of my wings is going to be better than his. You know, I'm just messing with you Aaron. But here's what I'm bringing. Here's the team I'm bringing to the chicken wing extravaganza. I'm bringing some tequila lime wings as part of this video. I'm bringing some habanero mango as part of this video. We're going to be doing some orange glazed chicken wings. I got some pineapple teriyaki, and this is the one I'm going to hit the home run with right here, or should I say the game-winning touchdown, is going to be a maple bourbon bacon chicken wing. That is going to be off the hook. Anyway, those are the wings that I'm going to be doing in this video. Like I said, I'm going to be cooking these wings uh, in the oven at first. I'm just going to do that off camera once I separate them. We're going to cook them. They're going to be fully cooked, but not crispy. I'm going to save that to the end. We're going to be deep frying those and uh, just getting them in each of these sauces when they're done. So let me prepare this chicken and we'll be back to make these sauces. All right, guys, so we are at the point where my chicken wings are cooked. I baked those in the oven right until the fat looked like it was about to render off the chicken, but I didn't want to do that yet because we are going to be deep frying them as well. Now, as far as all these recipes go, I'm going to be doing it how I normally do. I'm just going to be kind of winging it. That's something that you guys don't necessarily see in these videos, but I really don't follow a bunch of uh, directions when I'm cooking. So we're going to be doing it that way. Hopefully these recipes serve as some inspiration. First wing we're going to be starting with is a pineapple teriyaki. The ingredients I'm using, I have some pineapple slices that could be chunks or whatever. We have some garlic, ginger, soy sauce, sugar, these recipes are not going to be keto friendly right here. Rice wine vinegar and we have some butter. So let's get making it. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take about three of these pineapple slices, get them in our, I'm using a Nutribullet, I think that's what it's called, yeah, Nutribullet. Get our juice in here. I'm going to use all the juice from the can. And then we're going to be eyeballing it because we are going to taste it down the road. So we're going to hit it up with some of this garlic, generous amount, ginger, generous amount, our soy sauce, and we will be able to adjust this down the road once we get it in our skillet and get it cooking. Sugar, you could use brown sugar here as well. And I will be using brown sugar in some of these other uh, chicken wing recipes. And rice wine vinegar, or this is just rice vinegar. You can use any kind of vinegar you like. I almost went with the red vinegar. Okay, that's that. Looks like it's going to need a bit more soy sauce. We're going to save the butter for when it gets in our skillet. And we are just going to blend this up. Okay, that's blended up. Nice looking base. 
I'm gonna pull my skillet out and get hooking this up. I have added that mixture to our skillet and I'm telling you it smells absolutely wonderful. What we're gonna do is let this cook for about seven to eight minutes just to let it reduce down a little bit. Then we're gonna add our butter in, taste for any adjustments that's needed in seasoning, and this should be a wrap. So as you can see, this is reduced down nicely. I did taste it, and one thing it seems like it needs is a little bit of salt, so we'll go ahead and throw some of that in. And now's the time that we're gonna add the butter. And I've reduced the temperature on this, and we're just gonna let that butter just kind of melt in there. In the meantime, I'm gonna cook about four of these wings. Now that our sauce is thickened up, it's just time for us to get our wings and our sauce. And we're just gonna to toss them in here. So let's plate this up. I think some sesame seeds would go nice on this. Let's just sprinkle a few of those on here. And that is a wrap. Pineapple teriyaki chicken wings. Now that we've knocked out those pineapple teriyaki chicken wings, it's time for us to move on to some mandarin orange glazed chicken wings. What we're gonna need for this is we're gonna need some mandarin oranges, I have four total. We're gonna to be using the juice of four and the rind of one. I'm using some uh, salt, which I figured the last one needed. These are probably gonna need it also. Uh, garlic, rice wine vinegar again, or rice vinegar, excuse me, since this is kind of along those Asian lines. We have soy sauce. Now I'm trying to step it up a little bit. I'm using the soy sauce. You can't even read the label on this, so you know this is some good soy sauce. Honey and brown sugar. I'm gonna pull my skillet out. We're gonna start hooking this glaze up. First thing we're gonna do is add our orange juice from these oranges. You can use regular orange juice as well. And if you have a juicer, that works even better. But I don't, so I won't. So there's our orange juice right there. Now for our last orange, we're gonna zest it. And you can use as much or as little as this zest is what you want. That's plenty of zest right there. I am gonna use the juice of this last orange. It looks like it could Use a little more. Now let's add the rest of our ingredients. Gonna hit it with a little rice wine or rice vinegar, excuse me, keep calling it rice wine vinegar. Garlic, as generous as you like. Our soy sauce, and keep in mind we will be adjusting this down the road for flavor. This is pretty simple to the last chicken wing we made. Some salt. And brown sugar. And I'm going with some generous brown sugar. And just like the last one, we will be adding a little bit of butter down the road. We're gonna cook that down until it reduces. This is reduced down a bit. Let's add our butter and our honey at this point. I 
And this is down on low right now. This should thicken up nicely in about five minutes. So this sauce is thickened up. We have four of these wings that are already deep fried. Let's throw those in. All right, that's a wrap. Let's plate up. And I can tell you that orange flavor is coming through with some seriousness. I'm going to tell you, I like those pineapple teriyaki wings, but those manhood orange wings, those right there, those were the hitter. But you know what? It's time for us to get into something a little bit more adult, a little bit more creative. So what we're coming up with now is these tequila lime wings right now. So what I have here is we have some tequila, some lime juice. If you have regular limes, go ahead and get those. I'm using this lime juice you can buy at the store. Limes were a little expensive when I went there, so I went ahead with this. We have some white sugar, vinegar, water, some salt, butter, which we're going to add down the road, and some agave, which we're going to add down the road also. Really, all that we need to do is we're going to add our vinegar and our water. And we're going to be eyeballing all this. We can change the, you know, we can change the ingredients a little bit down the road. Hit it with some of this lime juice. And that's a bit of lime juice. We are going to sweeten it up a lot with not only the agave, but we have the sugar here. Our tequila. This happens to be Cuervo. Get our white sugar. Don't be afraid to get generous with this sugar. Even though we are trying to keep with the keto lifestyle. Hey listen, while I'm doing all this, remember, run over and check out Aaron over at Smoking and Grilling with AB. I'm sure that he's coming up with some stuff that not only tastes good, but he's all about that presentation. So you have something to look forward to if you haven't already subscribed to his channel. I'm gonna hit this with some salt as well. We're going to cook this down until it reduces about half. Then we're going to go ahead with our butter and our agave. This is reduced down about half, and I can tell you that lime juice and that tequila smell is coming through in this. Now we're going to add our butter and our agave. We're not going to be shy with our agave. And we're going to let this reduce down just a little bit more until it becomes kind of sticky. So I just tasted this sauce and I'm telling you this sauce is amazing. I'm not sure if this is better than the last one I made, but it is definitely a unique sauce. So I'm going to coat these up, plate them up, save the sauce for our final presentation. But I'm telling you, this right here is good to go. So these wings right here are some wings that I'm really looking forward to. It's been a while since I've had some really spicy wings. So for these mango habanero wings, what I have is we're gonna be using some mango chunks. I have a, about four habanero peppers, butter. Now I've been adding butter to these sauces and really that's just to kind of smooth it out. It's really not all that necessary. We have some salt. The vinegar I'm using in this one is gonna be some red wine vinegar. And to sweeten it, rather than going with honey or agave, I'm going old school with some Cairo on this. Those are our ingredients. Just like the last ones, we are just going to throw this together. So we got our mangoes, our habaneros. Just going to hit it with a touch of salt to begin with. If we need it, we can add more down the road.
a red wine vinegar. And I'm gonna puree this up. We are gonna add a little bit of water to this as well once we get it in the pan uh, to thin it out a bit. That's a wrap, let's get the skillet, get it in. There's our sauce and you can really smell that habanero coming through. Got our water in. And that's a nice thickness right there. I'm gonna add our Cairo. Like I said, honey would be fine for this as well. And I don't mind getting this super sweet to offset that heat that's gonna be in here. Now the only thing left to do is cook it down, turn it into kind of a syrup consistency. I did taste it. it looks like it needs a little bit more acidity, so we're going to Hit it with some more of that red wine vinegar. And I think it needed a touch more salt. And at this point, I'm gonna reduce the heat. It will tighten up a little bit. And I'm going to throw in a pat of butter just to smooth it out. So this sauce is cooked down nicely and I can tell you that this has some tremendous flavor. Coat these up, plate them up right quick, and move on to the granddaddy of the wings, which is going to be my maple bourbon bacon wings. So it is finally time for me to get to these last wings. Now these are the ones that I really wanted to get into. These are going to be my maple bacon bourbon wings. The ingredients I'm going to use for this is I have some bacon that's been chopped up. I have the grease that drained off of that bacon, vinegar, bourbon, and we have some real organic, some real hippie maple syrup here, it's the real deal. And I may need a little bit of salt, and I may need some sugar, I'm not sure, but these are my base ingredients. Let's get whipping this up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is throw some of this bacon fat in our skillet along with our chopped up bacon. So that's cooked for about three minutes. Let's add our bourbon. And our maple syrup. Stir this in. And I'm gonna add some of our vinegar. I'm gonna reserve some. I wanna taste it down the road. So this is gonna, I'm gonna let this simmer probably for about 10 minutes on low. This has been cooking for about 20 minutes and it is reducing, but it's not really giving me kind of that uh, syrupy kind of a consistency. So what we're gonna do, let's hit it with some brown sugar. And I'm gonna throw in a little bit more vinegar and salt. The flavor seems to be there, but uh, I think those two additions are gonna be good. And the vinegar is gonna cut some of this fat. Now this should reduce down into that syrup that we're looking for. And I'm thinking it's probably gonna take about another 15 minutes. So this sauce is thickened up nicely. Glad we're finally to our last set of wings. I tasted this sauce and it is absolutely awesome. As a matter of fact, this is the kind of sauce that you would almost have on the side as well. So I'm gonna plate these up and then fry off a whole bunch of these wings and do a taste test with all of them side by side. All right, those chicken wings wore me out. Now it's time for me and Hedrick Sabalos over here to get into these chicken wings and see what's up. So, you know, let's start on that end. That's the tequila line. 
Okay. Just one. You don't gotta eat the whole damn wing. Just get a good bite. Well, eat the wing. That's right. Mmm. Mmm. This right here. I used to do that together. Still came out great with that nice citrus lime. I was bomb. All right. Next we're getting with is this uh, pineapple teriyaki. Come on. Mmm. Good savory flavor. Thought it was gonna be really sweet, but no. It's real good. Excited for this next one. Next one, mango habanero. Oof, just look at that. It's not that hot. Oh. Still got that habanero heat though. Mmm. That's got a little heat in there. Mmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. Next one. Gonna hit up is this mandarin orange. Go ahead. Okay. Mmm. Skin's nice and crispy. Outside you have that little sweetness from the orange. Real nice. Mm. All right, last one before you pick a favorite. This is maple bacon, maple maple bacon burger. Go ahead. Ooh. Mmm. Definitely get that sweetness from the maple. A little bit of fatty goodness from the bacon. Mmm. Real good. Alright, so which one do you like? My favorites that I give to that nice no hippie barbecue heat, that mango habanero. Was surprising that maple bacon be my second favorite. That was really surprising. That was really good. My second favorite is the maple bacon also. My first favorite, the winner. Even though I thought the maple bacon was going to bring it home, was the uh, mandarin orange, uh, mandarin orange wings. Anyway, this right here was labor of love. That took some time. I'm just letting you know. All that time to cook them sauces, get them reduced down. It's getting a little late at night, so we're going to finish knocking out these wings. I have a few other wings made. We're going to try these sauces on, but listen. If you want to watch a good video with production value, the other half of this video is going to be over on AB's channel, Smoking and Grilling with AB. Like I said, links can be in the card above and description below. Run by there and tell them that No Hippie Barbecue brought it home. I'm out. Ooh, my favorite is mango habanero ones again. Yeah.